Hi, I'm Jale. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general collection reading for the sign of Sagittarius for May 2020. As with all general readings, please take what resonates and leave the rest. So if you are Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, then this may be for you. And obviously I do have other videos posted for the month of May. So if it, if it doesn't resonate, then check out the other videos. It may well be that they resonate more. Okay, so we're going to be using the Legacy of the Divine Tarot here for you guys, as requested by the guides. Have a look. It's an interesting energy there, so I'm not I'm not gonna it's, I really like it, I'm not gonna lie. Um it feels very expansive energy, like I can see a lot further than you know, like my peripheral vision is a lot more extended. I can see further, it's like I've got more space to see. I don't know if that makes any sense. What are we doing here? Are we leaving these? You want both of them up? Let's have a check, make sure the deck is not upside down. Okay, so at the moment we've got the Three of Coins, the King of Coins and the Page of Coins. I'll show you the cards in a second, but for some reason my guides are wanting me to look through this deck for something. I think it's because some of the cards are not upright. And they're smiling, which means there's a reason for that. Um, there's definitely going to be some unexpected turns. It's going to be like there's going to be things that are going to be revealed here this month that you're probably not going to know about or expect. All right. Some you will, some you won't. There'll be some that you'll think, oh, I can bank on that. And then it'll be the opposite. And some that you'll think, oh, actually, there's no way that's going to happen. And then it will. So take it with a pinch of salt. Obviously, it doesn't feel like it's too at the moment. It doesn't feel like it's... Um, I think the ones that don't pan out are not meant to, and I think the ones that do pan out are the ones that are going to really help lead you into this very, very expansive energy that is going to hold you up for a future um, of, of more abundance. Because it feels like whatever options aren't being offered to you, it's because they're trying to lead you somewhere that there are options, if that makes sense. Um, so we're trying to honour that. So just keep an eye out for what is being offered and what isn't. So we've got the three of coins. So there's it could be business contracts here that is under review, sort of confusion around that, maybe not knowing where to sort of take things. We've got the king of pentacles. This is an earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone that's in charge of their domain, um, someone that is in charge of their kingdom, their money, their physical kind of, um, their physical... what they're owning you know what what is it that they kind of do what they, they're kind of what's the word they're <laughs> what have i gone blank the domain Thank goodness for the guys to give me that. My my memory goes when I'm channeling, and so I can't think of words sometimes. The domain, okay? So they're, they're ruling their domain. This isn't someone that is in charge of their kind of arena. They're, it could be a business owner. It could be someone that's, you know, just takes charge, responsible, practical. They're considering where they're moving, their, to the, you know, to their next move. Page of coins. This is someone reconsidering their movement, their growth, their kingdom, their abundance, where their business lies, where it doesn't lie, what I'm, is going to make me money and how do I get to that point? This is what the focus looks like from where I'm stood, all right? Physical information. What is it in my physical arena at the moment that I can compromise on and what won't I? That's, again, the energy here. Seven of Swords. Someone is sneaking off. Someone's maybe not being honest with what they're viewing uh, is theirs and what isn't theirs it's like someone doesn't want to accept the responsibility here seven of swords sneaking off possible deception doesn't want to acknowledge what is needing to be acknowledged because for them they're not used to doing it justice this is karmic justice balance of justice is coming in try not to be sneaky with it or you know if you're trying to sort of pretend and distract yourself with work because this is easier to deal with 
again there's a balance that's coming in so just make sure that again queen of coins this is the counterpart to the king of pentacles the, the queen knows that whoever's around this masculine here or whoever's around this person that is trying to distract themselves with work there's a feminine that knows that because they're trying to avoid this person they're trying to avoid someone here because this this someone is doesn't take no for an answer and wants what's theirs but the problem with that is is it's not theirs it's someone else's and so they're trying to just like again this person doesn't want to confront that because it's too much for them to sit and say look this is the deal and i'm not compromising on that because what they they're scared there's a fear with this energy they are scared to confront it with the other person but this has to happen they're gonna have to do it they're gonna have to do it someone's holding on too tight four of coins they know that something has to change here but it's um This is a real massive karmic cycle because I, I'll be honest with you, I feel pain. I feel like this person feels like their whole world is about to come down around them and they've already had to deal with that before and it's a lot for them to have to re release because it's a major risk. It's, it's, it's like, yeah, you know, it's not what I want, but what happens if, you know what do I do then you know when I release this what happens next it's the fear of the unknown because some some at some point in a past life this person made that choice and it, and it definitely did not work out and if it isn't a past life it will be previously in this lifetime but this is a huge karmic lesson that is about to be learned and someone is terrified but there's healing on the way star card this is about future victories future energy that's being uh, provided for they are trying to hold on to what is being promised in the future as opposed to what you know the focus is on the present which is possible loss okay eight of swords someone that mentally is trying to move forward to try and you know move on and sort of talk themselves into this decision making but it's like their mind is not letting them their mind is haunting them almost by this kind of like well what happens if it's the wrong choice what happens if you choose wrong what happens if this isn't what you need what happens if you don't want this and then we've got the knight of coins in the reverse now how you've seen me sit here a minute ago and move back all the cards that were in reverse and this one still came through in the reverse so there's a stalemate going on here this is a stalemate this is a major stalemate it's like in order for me to escape this situation i'm gonna have to tell the truth and actually the truth is going to cause more problems and so i don't know how to handle this because i feel like the person's not going to want to hear the truth so I, I don't know what to do we've got the four of swords so they take a time out they go right well I, i'm and again you or this person whoever this is resonating with fit the roles assign the roles as your your situation is okay four of swords is taking some time out trying to understand what is this about you know why is this going on why am i doing this what is exactly the reality here what do i need to know because i think they don't know how to make the decision and so they think if i just hold this off at some point i'm going to learn how to make the decision ace of wands forward movement is required a, th a brand new cycle of action is required in this scenario but someone's putting it off someone is putting it off now we've got the queen of swords the nine of swords and the five of wands so in the meanwhile we've got someone here who is sleepless nights worried probably a little bit cold energy nine of swords queen of swords is fearing what exactly because whatever this choice is it affects this what this queen of swords And they don't quite know how to put this right now there is competition involved here we've got the five of wands so this is a competitive energy competitive element that is taking shape the 
they know that there's a competitive element that's involved in this and they they refuse to let it go and this is the problem because if the other person was able to let this go easier then it wouldn't be as bad for the other person but because this person's refusing to let go there's a guilt there's there's a guilt going on here um that's being kind of generated a little bit and someone has to step out of that look six of cups nostalgia but look you know look at what we did what about us what about this and so there's a concern that's why this person doesn't want to let it go but there's two people that don't want to let it go one that's wanting to let it go but doesn't know how to and one that doesn't want to let it go and won't let it go this is essentially it now again could be more than two people could be just one and they they're, they're sort of moving between both sides of that kind of polarity take it as it resonates um yeah yeah someone wants to move on to something else here we've got six of swords with the empress someone wants to move on to their divine counterpart but there's there's an energy that's very restricted within this yeah there's a third party energy here it's the three of cups with the magician someone wants to keep this energy and not sort of deal with it because they don't know how to um and so they're they're sort of they're going for... there could be people involved there could be friends interference there could be family interference there could be community interference but whatever this is is not helping the situation and it's causing a further stalemate it's causing further confusion the person that has the feelings the ace of cups that knows they, they're not confused they they already know the only thing they're confused on is how to move out of this situation because it's yeah look they want to offer their cup to their person the queen of cups this is the person who understands them their emotions but the problem with it is there's a there's a restriction here nine of coins yeah look someone is about to be single Someone is about to be single here. Someone is choosing to be single because there's too much going on. There's too much sort of competition, aggravation, arguing, people getting involved, people, you know, sort of taking the energy of what, you know, of, or a stance that isn't really supposed to be involving them. But someone is going to move into this energy and, and uh, become single because it, they can't sustain this. It's like this, this energy is just too much to and fro -ing. And it's affecting a lot more than just two people involved. It's affecting a, a lot of people from the looks of it. Yeah, a decision is made. Judgment. A decision is made. Judgment. Now, this could also be twin flames. I'm not going to lie because it feels very twin flamey. A, a decision is made. A decision is made. Seven of Wands. They've been backed into a corner. Look, Seven of Wands, defensive energy. They've been backed into a corner. They're going, make the decision. This is going to happen. Um, yeah. So we've got the Two of Wands in the reverse. This is about finally making a deci decision, heading towards that, not sort of dilly-dallying with it. And then we've got the Four, four of Wands in reverse here. So there's definitely a movement here of... If there was living environments previously, that's going to be ruled out. And page of wands. An enthusiastic offer. Someone's going to move away from something that wasn't. And they're going to head towards what it is they do want. Again, very twin flame energy I'm picking up here. Ten of coins. Yeah, towards their, their abundance, towards their lifelong happiness. The what, to what they know is aligned with them. They know, they already know. This is very Virgo energy as well. Venus in Virgo. They're heading towards that. I think that there's going to be a bit of to and fro in this month. And it's possibly going to make it look like they're not going to choose this. But what I want you to do is when that happens, don't take things into your own hands and start playing with this energy. Because they are going to make the decision to step towards where they need to go. But it's going to take, there's going to be a lot of indecision between now and that point in the month of May. Now, again, energy is fluid. So if you're watching this the day it goes out, it could be have all been wrapped up within a day. But if you're watching this towards the end of May, then just bear in mind 
that you know it may have already happened so to speak so let's have a look capricorn please uh, sagittarius please why does the capricorn there's someone's got capricorn energy here i'm hearing the decider sagittarius please for the month of may yeah we've got eight of coins so there's someone's putting work in here someone's really taking the time to understand this it's not just like a if this was on the back burner this is going to be a priority this is not just going to be a i don't know what to do and so i'm just going to wait so we've got the king of wands so there's third party energy involved here that's going to be reduced out and the focus will be more on building things working towards something that obviously now they know what it is they want they're working towards it and they're reducing and releasing what it is they don't want this is like dreams and sort of head in the clouds and lots of options and not knowing what to do and you know dream, very dream energy very dream kind of fantasy energy that card page of swords truth understanding and, and feeling out the truth of, of what this all meant Someone's going to, I feel like someone's going to be asking them, like, what is it? What was all this about? When all this goes down, it's like there's going to be one person that's going to review this and be like, what was all that about? There was more to all that. It's like there's going to, the way they're going to get out of this situation is going to be weird. <laughs> and someone's going to pinpoint something more to it and the rest of the others won't understand. But they're just heading towards what their, their kind of, their emotional fulfillment is. that's what they're doing they're trying to um understand fully what that is and then head towards it and then we've got the ten of wands and the high priestess so there's someone here there's a hidden thing here ten of wands high priestess is like you know keeper of the secrets and a burden they've got a, a secret burden here that they're holding that's that's contributed to all of this yeah look and that is because they want to go towards something else or someone else. Knight of Wands and Ace of Coins. This is about them taking a focused action. Now they're free to do it. Taking focused action to actually go towards what it is they want. Unhindered. Five of Swords, competition, sort of mind games, um, backbiting, you know, arguing. There's just, it's like, so they, I feel like they, yeah, look, Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, they're fed up of defending their stance. It's like they feel they've got to defend their actions. They've got to defend their choices. They've got to defend why. They've got to defend this. They've got to defend that. And sometimes it's easier just to not do it. Because then that way they don't have to sit and explain to 17,000 people, well, yeah, I did it for this reason. And yeah, well, why? Well, you didn't see all of my life and you haven't been privy to all of this, but... You know this was for this reason yeah but why like some people are not going to get it and i feel that's another reason why this person's taking so long to kind of decide what to do because it's like the, the effort of all this and look five of coins someone's feeling like someone's left out in the cold that they've been rejected or again lots of change five of swords five of coins it's like someone feels like they were left out and they you know something wasn't fair but that was because, look, this emotional kind of, this person's come into alignment with their emotions here. And they're owning their decision. They're going to own their decision. So if it was very much confused before, they're going to be able to articulate why. Yeah. They could even be very blunt with the explanation behind that knight of swords they could be very blunt about how they explain it because i feel like whoever this is for it's going to get to a point where yeah they're fed up of it justifying themselves like two of swords walking into the darkness the unknown libra energy balancing things out i'm trying to understand what exactly the reality is and then the emperor taking a stand a stand taking charge taking control moving forward aries energy leadership not being affected by what people's projections are and just going yeah i did do this yeah this is my decision that's why eight of wands in the reverse so there's going to be an energy of people wanting to push things through very quickly and wanting to understand things very quickly but there's going to be someone or something about the scenario that's going to be held back because i feel like it can snowball it feels like there's a momentum to this that's gaining gaining building 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 
and then it's like they're trying to pull this back in because it, it, they don't want it to be out of control um there's something feels a little bit like it's you know if it's not pulled back yeah look nine of cups this is like someone's sort of really enjoying themselves here this is a lot of drinking a lot of excesses um they're possibly someone taking to sort of drink a little bit because they're trying to deal with it and so that you know that energy hence why it's being held back a little bit the energy because someone's really struggling to deal with this um because it's a big it feels like a big lesson because if they if this person has always dealt with something a certain way the spirit are going to make them do it a different way this time and that's the thing that is uncomfortable it's 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 that that's so uncomfortable Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. So you've got the Nine of Cups with the Ten of Cups. It's by you force or whoever's not allowing compromise of boundaries. That is where the positive benefit will come. Because whatever this choice is this person has to make, if you allow that to fall by the wayside and let them sneak off or let them do it, it's, it's going to drag out the journey they have to learn this they have to learn this um because then the abundance comes because they've learned the lesson that the lesson is meant for them to step onto a, an extra step so that they're in line with you if they don't learn this now they're not going to be in alignment with you which means that you know there's more work to be done and they you know what i mean it's like either they're, they're basically saying do you want to do the work now or later personally i'd like to do it now you know let's get it out of the way but because this is a major lesson for this person, it doesn't feel so great to go into because it's totally unknown to them. Because and they don't like the unknown. It's very, you know, very Scorpio energy. <laughs> because this is what's next, the tower. They know this is the, they know. That's why they they already know this is just gonna fall there's gonna be some information coming out. Whether this person knows things about them they don't want them to know, but that's what they've been scared about. This could be this, this as well. And so they've been trying to hold it together and they've been trying to um, keep everything in check. But this is the problem. Spirit is saying you can't. This is this is inevitable. It has to be released. The foundation has to go in order to build the new foundation so we can move forward in this. Yeah, and then there's a there's definitely some kind of departure going on here. So we've got the Three of Swords. This is an ending, but it, it's like Tower and Three of Swords is an inevitable ending. And then after the, the breakup, there is happiness because this person's able to be free to step into the energy they want to step into because they've learned the lesson. And then we've got Faith. This is by, if you're involved in this and you feel like this is a lot, then you are going to have to really dig deep and dig into your energy, your heart center, and try and really allow this to just naturally unfold. Because if you fight it, or if they fight it, and then you're trying to give them other alternatives, because then you, you feel bad for them, it's it's not going to help them. Yeah. 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 So they want this healing. They want temperance. They want reunion with their person. They want to be in this alignment. But the reason why they put it off is that there's something here. There's a darkness that they've been tracking here within themselves that is also reflected in another environment within or outside of themselves that they've been humouring for way too long. And this is what's going to be brought out. It's like there's this kind of very low vibrational energy that's going to be kind of flushed out with all this, with this choice that's being made. And that's what they're scared of that's because this is the thing the secrets coming out it's like addictions lies anything that was hidden is coming out death inevitable ending there's an inevitable ending to this this is always was always going to end whatever this was that someone is fighting to keep because they're scared it was always going to end and it's like they were trying to put off the inevitable they were trying to put off the inevitable hanged man. They would keep trying to put it off. They kept trying to put it off. It was like the spirit of light. Well, we'll give you up until this point in time. But if you're not going to do it. Then we have to come in and balance you out. Six of coins. Balance. Equal give and take. 
we're going to outweigh this because at, at this point this has to be acknowledged now there has to be an acknowledgement Queen of Wands someone there's a, a, an energy here behind this that is observing all of this that isn't saying much let me just see what this is about here there's an observation being sort of taking place here yeah it's We've got the three of wands so it's a future energy it's about a choice for the future taking a stand for the future trying to understand what this all means for the future six of wands someone is then once this decision has been made is is there's a public spotlight or an announcement publicly six of wands here of future plans six of wands three of wands which adds up to nine of wands where an it you know an energy is being driven from something to another area which with it being nine of wands can be wounded warrior energy but this is someone's stepping into this energy here because of this situation Someone is stepping into this Queen of Wands energy here. There's a defiance. Let's have a look what's going on. Yeah. There's an ending to this. Look, we've got the world. So whatever this interference was or this energy that just feels very resistant and it's like blowing it all up and it publicly kind of making it obvious and sort of, you know, really, it, this is like a transference of um changes in the future that i'll be honest with you this is really the whole journey the whole path has been changed the whole outcome from this one move for not just your life but the people involved has been totally changed there's a huge shift this is a huge shift huge ending of a cycle that the sh what was in the shadows is being brought to the light. Yeah. Possibly took a long time coming as well with the Seven of Pentacles uh, card here. This is usually a journey, something that sort of takes a while. You know the growth hasn't kind of been realized until it's ready to sort of you know be picked so we've got five of cups and the two of coins so someone was deliberately trying not to kind of deal with this because they know that there would be a loss two of cups and strength but they know that this energy or this connection that they're being led towards is a lot stronger the wheel of fortune turns and there's a new start wheel of fortune in the fall so it's about a brand new kind of beginning We've got the lovers and the ace of swords. So truth around a choice, especially a love choice. We've got king of swords and eight of cups. So the choice, the person who chooses is walking away from the other options. The elute, the moon with the ten of swords. So the secret is out. There's a closure of a secret. And then four of cups with page of cups, which is something could be coming back around that was previously rejected. If this was a situation that you had previously sort of thought, oh, this was never going to happen. They were never going to end this. They were never going to do that. They were never going to do this. They were never going to fill this out. They were never going to close it. It looks like they are. And it looks like it's not just an effort from them. It's an effort from the universe. I feel like they, they are working with the universe to kind of take this opportunity. Because it did feel like this is very scary for them. Very past life energy where in a past life they probably didn't make the right decision. They probably regretted it they probably made a decision maybe to the contrary in a past life and totally regretted it 
And so this is now in the present day where this is being led to, which is why the fear is around for them because they're picking up possibly on a past life scenario that was also similar. The hanged man. The hanged man. So again, it's like they, they know there's inevitability to this, but it, it's just scary for them. That seven of cups, illusions, confusion, choices. What do I do? Look, they're all glittering, shiny. They all mean something, but what do I do? I don't know what to do. Seven is also about balance. It's about Libra and it's about spiritual kind of connection here. Partnerships, understanding who is meant for you and who isn't. And the star, this is about future promise. Very Aquarius energy, healing. Can you see, it's like something's being released here. Something is being released here. And I'm just seeing the initial CM. I know that's Sir, um, this is the, the illustrator, Sir Marchetti. But this person's gone with the flow here and it's brought them something. This person's gone with the flow and it's brought them something. So either you or them. Because when you're able to do that, there's a brand new, clo well, it's a closure of one cycle and a brand new fresh start of another. Because this is the beginning of the major arcana again, which is a brand new beginning, a brand new start. The full, you, you're able to start again. They're picking, they're tr this is about a timeline that is not just going to stay you know the same for one one thing it's like <laughs> i've just realized there's there's a dog hanging on there's a dog hanging on here they're ready to pick and something <laughs> that just made me laugh Wow, they've chosen it. it's ending. They're single. This person's being single. This person is ending it. There's um, two of wands in the reverse with the ten of swords. This is this this cycle's closing. It's ending. Finished. Closed. Bye. There's they're being single. They're going to be single. They're going to be single. There's probably at least two options this person has, possibly in a romantic environment. It could be work, take it as it resonates. But we've got the Queen of Swords here and the Queen of Cups. One of them is very much going to defend via the mouth and the other one is in their heart centre. And again, it feels very, one feels very karmic -y and one feels very twin flamey kind of divine counterpart energy. Yeah, look. Their choice, they're deciding, and their choice is, is being outed. It's like they're gonna, this is gonna become so again. If there's mutual friends, those friends will know because look, six of fall and six of wands. This is gonna be done in public. This is gonna be so. Let's say they're in the pub, they could be in the public eye. Let's say this is gonna be very a very public type of demonstration of what is going on. There's going to be a lot of people that, are, again, could be friendship group, could be family group, could be community. There's going to be people investing in this information that want to know. All right. So, again, it's to do with a, a choice they make. King of Pentacles. <laughs> Not that you can see it. Hello. I don't know why I'm laughing at this guy that's holding a coin. It's like... Why why is he holding it? It's it, I'm just hearing it's mine. <laughs> Someone's definitely making a stand, taking a stand here, but I just feel like it's going to be done. Like, there'll be people involved and people will discuss it and it's like, Facebook will be rife. You know what I mean? It's like one of them. Yeah. When they go towards their choice, their person wants because they're going to be single. But I feel like there's a gap or a space between when they reconcile with someone else. Because that hangman and temperance, it's not they're not going to just suddenly jump into something immediately afterwards. I don't. I think that's going to look bad. I think that's what they think it's going to look like bad. 
So they're trying to um, take their time because they don't want to rush anything. Because it's like, again, they're trying to be careful with this. Oh my goodness, but there's definitely something that they know. They, they, you know, this is like long term. Whoever their choice is, whatever their choice is, this is a long term decision. This is not just do do. Like I'm gonna make a decision because I, you know, I'm I'm in lockdown and you're you're in front of me. It's not like that. Yeah, they're breaking free of something. The Fool and the Eight of Cups. They're breaking free of something. They're breaking free of something that they were not content with. This is Piscean energy. This is Aries and Piscean energy. And obviously, Pisces and Aries. Pisces is the last sign and Aries is the first. Can you see there's still options here? People are like reaching out. Can you see? He's reaching out on this card for an option. And then the guy in the Eight of Cups is reaching out to the moon. It's like while this energy kind of comes into flow, it's like um, this is very air. Well, I mean, I know it's Aries, but it feels very air and water based. It's like they're going to be merging between their head space and their heart space. And it's like one minute they're going to look like they're moving forward. The next minute they're going to revert, regress back into the heart center. It's going to feel very up and down. Stop, start, stop, start. So, again, if this is you around the May period or someone, you know, that's you're waiting for to make a decision, I wouldn't sit and go, well, you know, on the 31st or 30th of May, this is going to be this. Because, again, energy is fluid. But, yeah, Queen of Coins, Seven of Swords. We've got cheating here. Queen of Swords with Seven of Swords. Is there cheating accusations? Is someone trying to get away with something here? Is someone trying to get away with something here? You know? hanged man in the reverse someone is gonna try and it's gonna look it looks like someone's trying to cheapen their other ch the, when they choose they're gonna choose something and i feel like the energy of this what they didn't choose is gonna come and cheapen the whole thing they did or try and attempt to um because again there's a very com Pestive element, but that's not going to last very long. Five of Wands in the reverse. It can't. You can't sustain that kind of energy forever. You know? Eight of Swords in the reverse. They're breaking free. Whoever was in this trap of this kind of mind games that someone was playing or they were self-imprisoned, you know, from their own thoughts, they're going to finally free themselves with that. Um, King of Cups. Stepping into their emotional needs and wants. Honouring what they need and want. Wow, that's quite a few cards. And stepping towards the right choice. Two of Cups. Stepping towards the right choice for them. Their emotional needs being acknowledged, finally. Stepping out of that cycle. Breaking free of something that was definitely not serving. Three of Swords. Even if that means a tower moment. Into their wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. Let's pull some Oracle cards to wrap this up. Um, yeah. Let's go with Nature's Whispers. This is uh, Angela Hartfield and Janet Josephine Wynn. Nature's Whispers, Oracle Cards. Okay. Yeah. And then, once you've done the work, path is cleared. Clear endeavour. Someone set their intentions so far in, and rooted so deep. And it, this is something that feels meant to be. It's developed from that. It's like someone was very sure of what they wanted. And, and then it says, be your best self always. So if you're getting pulled into this toxicity, do not jump into that. Let it 
again ride the emotions as in walk through into the emotions submerge yourself in the emotions because we've got to feel them but don't respond via emotion if you feel like there's a lot of this gossipy energy or it says be your best self always do not sink to any levels do not sink to any levels always maintain your dignity do not allow anyone to draw you this is the thing i'm going to be real okay a lot of times people don't get this but i'm going to quickly go into it when they say oh you know you you should be doing this there should be spells done you should be doing that you should be defending yourself okay but i have these guys to do that why am i going to sit and mess myself up and put myself in a situation by doing all that kind of thing when it's not my job to do it you and i get it people are like yeah but you know you've got to defend yourself this is the thing if you look back at a snapshot of you and this individual can you guarantee in the last 18 lives that you've had that you didn't mess this person up no unless you have traced through every single one of your past lives and you can categorically tell me that you didn't fuck this person over how do you know that that is warranted how do you know that how do you know that by them doing that to you isn't rebalancing a scale that was actually needing to be paid back now is this ego to sit and go well you know let's just defend ourselves and do this because you know how dare they actually i'd rather just leave it to upstairs because if that is the case they'll deal with that and if it isn't the case then i've dealt with it because i'm having to deal with it anyway aren't i but there's definitely some kind of testing energy here and i really would rather people and okay yeah it's, it's not nice to sit and, and be like oh well that was awful you know I've, they've just they've just done this and i'm i'm gonna have to kind of you know deal with it but do you know what it depends on the context like for example let's say this is a third party situation where the karmic is being vile they're not letting the person come to the, the divine counterpart and so it's just all being played out in the public and then the divine feminine is upset because obviously it's or the divine masculine is upset because they're being dragged through the mud so think about that on an energetic level if someone is having unfair treatment what do you think happens do you think that the universe just observes it and goes oh, actually no that we're just going to ignore this and just we don't care this gets paid back everything gets paid back eventually so when you start talking about spells and i'm going to do this and i'm going to you know do that and how dare they so what now you're doing god's work as well are you because that doesn't make any sense to me. I can't I can't sit here and do this job and go, actually, yeah, just do a spell as well. Because, you know, this is the thing. I'm going to take what's good from these guys. But when it gets bad, I'm going to get involved. No, if I take the good from them, I've got to take the bad. And that is up to them to deal with. It's not, I'm not them. There's a hierarchy. And does it mean that, you know, this is this is control? No, because they've the rapport that you've got with spirit should have been proven by this point. And if it hasn't, then you're not at that. You're not ready to hear this message. Um, but I'm seeing way too many people, especially spiritual people that are like talking about doing spell work. And it's like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to show them and I'm going to. Why? What? Why do you need to show anybody? Do you not do you not believe in yourself? What? Why do you need to show anyone that? And this is why nine times out of ten, if I get weird comments or like. If I get someone trying to antagonise, I'm not going to sit and repeat myself 15 times. I'm just not going to do that. That's up to them to learn. If you're not at the stage where you get this, this channel's not going to be for you, you know? And it's like, do the work. Get rid of the wounds and then you're not going to be coming from that kind of victim. Because this is the thing. It's like, if you're not doing the work, then you are going to look at this as some kind of antagonistic energy. But if you've done the healing, then you're not going to sit and think the universe is out to get you. You're just going to go, well, look, obviously there's a lesson in this. Let me just sit and meditate on that energy and figure out what this is really about. I, I don't have time to be sat there spotting, you know, oh, I'm going to do spell work because how dare, dare they? So how do you know in four lifetimes back that you didn't mess them up? You don't know that. Maybe there was something that needed to recalibrate and you need to learn a bit of humility. Can you guarantee that? No, I don't think you can. Unless you tell me you've gone into the Akashic Records and you've looked back and looked at every single lifetime with this individual. How do you know that now was the time that, that something had to be given back because there was a balance that needed to be restored? I Don't forget, I'm all about that because I've got a Libra Midhaven. It's unfortunately built within me. Does it sound like a cop out? Yes. But if you dig a little bit deeper, it, there's a reason for all of this. And including the decision. So if you're in the situation and someone is still determined not to make a decision, you let them carry on and you do you. You don't force it into, you know, before it's ready. It just is not going to, it's going to backfire on you. 
And this is the time, especially in this energy, when spirit are watching. And so I want you to get your blessings without forcing them or them backfiring. OK, OK, this was your reading for Sagittarius for May 2020. Hopefully that's been of some help. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscriptions. It means a lot to me. I go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. British Standard Time. If you'd like to join us, by all means, we'd really love to see you there. Until next time, take care.